cleaning business owners. Welcome to the Made Summit 2020. I'm Daisy and we're going to be talking today about how to get hundreds of reviews for your cleaning business. Thank you so much for joining. It is so special that we can do this, that we can connect and learn from each other. You know, with lockdown and coronavirus, it's really felt like that connection's been missing from people. So how amazing that we can do this today. Also, what a fantastic excuse to put makeup on. That's something I've not done in months. Was definitely struggling to do that in the mirror today, but I think I got there. Um, let's get to it, hey? So what I'm going to teach you today, I want you to go away knowing how to have a system that means that you can get reviews every single week for your cleaning business. I want it to be a simple system so that you can implement it into your business, no problem. And each week it's just churning into a review making machine. I want to show you also how you can use these reviews to get more customers. And I want to show you how to maximize your reviews. So you might have got a review six months ago. How do we make sure that that review is still getting new customers in the future? Yeah, we excited? Great. So my name's Daisy. Like I said, my family have a cleaning business. Um, that's been going for over 25 years and I've worked in it since I was four years old. At four years old, I was sticking stamps on envelopes of mail shops that would go out to all of our customers. Uh, but I've done every job in that cleaning business. I've cleaned, I've answered the phones, I've done the marketing, and now I have my own marketing company. We're a small team based in England, but we work with cleaning businesses and only cleaning businesses. We work with cleaning businesses all over the world in America, Australia, New Zealand. We even have customers in Dubai. And my sole purpose is to help cleaning business, good, hardworking people, just like my mum and dad, to help them get more customers. But today, less about me and more about you. How do we make sure that you are getting hundreds of reviews? Let's dig into it right now. So first, what do we mean when we're talking about reviews? So my family have always collected reviews for their cleaning business. 25 years ago, they used to get little old ladies writing thank you cards um, and they'd stick them up in the office. Now, technically that was a review, but it's not the reviews we're talking about. What I want is a review for you that's going to help you generate more work. So what do I mean by that? Well, the reviews I'm interested in, if I just go to Google for a second, are the ones that can generate you more work. So as we all know, the majority of the way that people find new cleaning businesses, if I'm looking for a cleaner, is I go onto our trusty old friend Google and I type in cleaning business where I'm based or local cleaning business, cleaning business near me. Or if you're in America, made service business, something like that. When I type that in, the first thing that I see is ads. Now you can't get on the ads unless you're paying. But we also know that some people scroll down and the first thing that they see here is businesses. Now I know because we've got the data, but also I was looking for an electrician just yesterday and what I did subconsciously was scroll past the ads, go onto here and clicked on the person and called them with the most reviews. So when I say I want to get you more reviews, logic would prevail that we want to be getting these sort of reviews because me and so many other people really value these. I'm scrolling down, I'm finding the person with the most reviews and I'm giving them a call. So how do we get them reviews? Well, these particular reviews are called Google reviews. Now there's loads of other places you can get reviews, Yelp, Trusted Trader, uh, TripAdvisor if you're a real um, brick and motor shop. Um, you can get them on so many different third parties. I'm gonna focus on Google reviews today and if I had the option of getting 30 reviews tomorrow, the place I would focus on getting them would be Google. Once you've already got a really big bank of hundreds of reviews on Google, I then see that there is a different strategy for you where you could start to get different reviews on Yelp and other websites. But at the very beginning, when you're starting from zero or from a low number, the online review platform that's going to turn into the most amount of customers for you is Google. So today I'm going to focus on Google. Once you have hundreds on Google, 
let's talk. If you want to look at other platforms, I can advise the right ones. But for the sake of this talk, we're going to be talking about Google because that is going to equal the most amount of customers um, generated for your cleaning business. Um, so these reviews are the ones I'm talking about. So that's why I think you should use a third party. It doesn't make sense to be getting reviews just on your website, just written in your office. It makes sense to get them on a third party. And if I was to prioritize a third party, it's Google, because that is going to be helping you to get them reviews and making you money. So I wanted to make sure that this review, this uh, presentation that I was going to do for you was on a theme. Obviously, the theme is reviews, reviews. But it was a little bit dry. I have 50 slides and they were looking a little bit boring. And I was like, okay, how do I make these slides really exciting? Reviews, five star reviews, star, star, who's the biggest star in the world? And logic went to the biggest star in the world is dun, 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 dun. Dolly Parton, of course. Um, so in the hope of making my slides a little bit interesting, you will see peppered in there, the biggest star in the world, Dolly Parton. There is actually going to be a prize. Why not? For the person that can see how many pictures I have put in this presentation of Dolly Parton. So there's your first five, be making a little tally chart at the end and tweet or Facebook or Instagram me with how many you think were in this presentation. And the winner, I'm going to send them an envelope full of English chocolate, which I think is the best chocolate in the world. So count how many Dolly Partons you see during this presentation, tweet, Facebook, Instagram me, and I will find a winner and send you a little prize. Let's make this fun. Hey, so there's your first five. Keep noted. And let's keep talking about stars five-star reviews, Google reviews. So why are Google reviews so important? I'm going to rattle through this bit quickly because the bit I really want to get into is how do you get more Google reviews? But why are they important? Well, they're important for a few reasons. Like we've talked about, they attract more customers. If you've got 50, 100, 500 Google reviews, new customers when they type in cleaning business or maid service business in your area, they're going to see that you've got all these reviews and they're going to be calling you to be their maid service business because they want to work with someone that they already know is trusted by lots of other people. So the first reason we want more Google reviews is to attract more customers. It also helps convert. If someone's bringing five different maid service businesses, they are much more likely to go with the person that's got more reviews. If you've got someone, oh, I'm not sure about the price, that's quite expensive, a response you can say back is, yeah, we're not the cheapest person in our area, but what we do have is 500 Google reviews. Your neighbors are already trusting us. Um, and that's what makes us special. So it really helps you convert those customers that aren't sure yet into becoming paying customers. It also helps you increase visibility on search engines. So the more reviews that you have, the more you're going to climb up that Google ranking and be in that map pack that we just saw before. Um, which is also going to help you get more customers. It looks and it makes you feel good getting reviews, which is actually really important. I know this one seems a little bit silly, but if you've got cleaners that are out working all day, they're typically going into empty homes or they're not speaking to the people in the property that often. And there's just a really nice boost of morale. If you can say to your cleaning team, hey, Katie, you got a fantastic five-star review or you're putting on the WhatsApp group that's got all your cleaning girls on there. Oh my God, Emily got an amazing five-star review and screenshotting it. It's actually a really good boost of morale. And I think that's a really important thing because we're not always getting told as cleaners, fantastic, what a good job. But to be told it publicly is really lovely. One that I think is super important is getting reviews helps you build a defense if you ever get a bad review. So if you get one bad review, that can really bring down your rating. Unless you already had 50 really good reviews, then actually that one bad review is just a drop in the ocean. So what you want to be doing right now is building up a huge pile of good five-star reviews so that if it ever happens and if you're cleaning a lot of houses, chances are you will one day get a bad review. 
But if it ever happens, you've already cleared yourself because you've got this huge bank of good reviews. And lastly, it builds a, a good big bank of reviews, positive reviews, builds a defense against your competitors. I'm much more likely to go with this company because they've got 50 reviews than one that's only got two. And also, if any of your competitors jump onto the bandwagon and think, oh, I need to start getting Google reviews, you getting them today means that you're way ahead of them in the race already. If you've already got 50 reviews, it's going to take them a little bit of time to catch up. So you should be trying to get these Google reviews ASAP. Um, another thing is that Google reviews actually help you save money. What do I mean by that? If you are using any ways to get new customers at the minute that costs, Google ads, leaflets, Facebook ads, um, you're paying someone for SEO, you're putting your ad up in uh, like leaflets or uh, newsletters, all them things that cost money, well, you could lose customers if they then Google you and you don't have a fantastic reputation online. So actually by helping because it helps convert more people into customers, it saves you money on your whole marketing strategy. Uh, and we have data that proves this. We've really seen that those that have lots of five-star reviews get customers easier and their marketing is more effective. Another thing is, you guys will know this, have you ever tried posting out Instagram content um, for a cleaning business? It's dry. It is so hard to think of new posts to put all the time. It's really hard to take pictures of like clean looking houses. Um, and there's only so much content you can come up with. If you have lots of fantastic Google reviews that actually builds content for you. So you can see these are examples of cleaning businesses. They're screenshotting their reviews and they're sharing that. And that actually looks like really good content. And what I've found is people engage with that content quite well. So that's another great reason to get reviews. It helps your Instagram and Facebook game look good. So now you are totally convinced um, on why you need reviews. How the heck are we going to get them? So just before we get onto this, this strategy, I'm going to summarize at the end. So right now, process it all. Think of any questions you want to ask me because I'm so here to ask you any of them questions. You, if you're watching this live, you can put the questions in the chat box. Um, so just absorb it all because at the end, I'm going to go through a run through, um, which any of you that likes to take notes, you can then take the notes at the end. Does that sound good? So how are we going to get more reviews? The first thing that I want you to do is all of us, let's do this now together. Just take a minute and think about how many cleaning customers you currently have on your books. Are you cleaning five people's homes? Are you cleaning five people's offices? Are you cleaning 500 people's? Just have a think about that for a sec. Now think in the next 30 days, how many reviews could I get from them people? So if you've got five customers, how many of them could you ask to give you a Google review? If you've got 500, how many of them could you ask? Have you got an exciting goal in mind? Right? Now, all together, we're going to do this. You're going to think of your number and you're going to write it down. Bear with me. There's a reason we're doing this. So how many reviews are you going to get in the next 30 days? I want to get 40 new reviews. How about you? How many reviews do you want to get? Now, the reason that we're writing that down is you are 42% more likely to achieve that goal if you write it down. You're even more likely to achieve it if you share that number with your whole team. Now, I'm going to take them odds. If that 40 new reviews is more likely to happen by 42%, I'm going to write it down because I've just increased my odds. That is a lottery ticket that I'm going to bet on. So now we've got it written down. We've got a number in mind. Let's keep going. Obviously, the only way you're going to get five-star reviews next is by doing a fantastic job. So whether you're cleaning or you have a team, you need to be doing a fantastic job in every single home. But you knew that already. and I'm sure you're already doing that. Now, this is a really important one. 
And this is something that is going to change for every single person. You want to figure out the moment of delight. And what is the moment of delight? Now, this is going to vary for every single person. But what it is, is when someone, a customer, is so pleased with the work that you're doing. So you'll find that if you're cleaning for someone every week or every month, there might just be one time that they come home and they're like, oh my goodness, you have done such a good job. It looks amazing in here. That is the moment of delight. Or if someone's just had a really hard week and you go and clean their house and you just do some little extras, like you make the beds look really pretty or I've seen people make the towels in love heart shapes. When you've just done that thing that really delights someone and makes them remember someone has come in my home and cleaned it and I feel really good about that. I want you to educate all of your team of what that moment of delight is because when that moment of delight happens, when someone is so happy with the service that you're doing, that is the moment we want to ask them for a Google review. And if everyone can recognize when that is in your team, your team can start asking people for Google reviews as well. So we've figured out the moment of delight and then we want to ask that, that customer in person for a Google review. So someone's just come home, wow, my house looks amazing. We want you or someone in your team to be saying, I'm really glad that you're happy with the service. Would you mind leaving us a Google review? It really helps our business. Or I'm so happy you're happy with all of this. We're a growing business. We're trying to get more customers. Would you mind leaving us a Google review? Because it really helps attract new customers to our business. People really like that honesty. We've tried lots of different approaches and we found that works really well. But what we have found is that if you ask that in person, rather than just on an email or on a little note card that you leave with them, where possible, if you ask in person, you are much more likely to get reviews. Okay, I know some of you are already thinking this. I can't ask my customers in person. I'm not there to see them. Or my team go in when everybody's at work. We go in with our own key. Okay, well, if you can't ask in person, how do we make sure that when you ask for a Google review, you are asking in the most human way possible? So if you can't ask in person, could you pick up the phone and say, hey, Mrs. Smith, I'm so happy that you're happy with the job or are you happy with our job? If you are, would you mind leaving us a Google review? I promise you that this is worth doing, picking up the phone. Okay, so you can't pick up the phone. What can you do then? Well, how about a handwritten note? What if a customer is just a cleaner has just done a fantastic job for one of your clients? They've just left a little love heart towel or they've really cleaned the mirror. Could they leave a little handwritten note next to that that says, hey, really hope that you're happy with everything. Would you mind leaving us a Google review? So what we're doing here is we're making the process as human as possible because asking someone for a Google review you are asking them to go on the computer and deal with technology and anything to do with the technology really takes out a personal note. So if we're going to do that, we're going to try and put in as much human connection as possible. So people really resonate and say, I want to help this business. Um, this is an example. Um, you might have seen this with Amazon, but I buy off Amazon all the time. And the next day my order comes and it's so efficient. It's so robotic that I literally order something off the internet. The next day it's at my door that I often forget that there's humans that are packing them boxes and that that product I've bought from someone is a real business. And in this case, this isn't actually an example that I had, but it was a really similar one is I'd bought a little um, makeup bag. And there was a handwritten note from the person that made that makeup bag saying, we're a really small business. We've just started on Amazon. Would you mind leaving us a review? It really helps us to get more customers. That is the only time I have ever left an Amazon review. And it was because Amazon is so slick. The whole process is so automated. I forget there's a person. But when I got that handwritten note, I thought, of course, I'm going to help out this makeup business. The same is true for your cleaning business. If you are so slick that you have your own key, you let yourself into the property, you clean it and you leave, 
your process might be so slick that people almost forget that there is humans, people that are lovingly cleaning that home. So that human connection, I'm stressing it a lot because it is so important. It really stops people for a minute. And that is when they are much more likely to do you a favor, log on to Google and leave you a review. Okay, there is some people right now, I can hear you from all the way on my computer saying, I don't have the time to ask every person in person for a review. And if I'm not doing that, I don't have time to call each business. And if I'm not doing that, I don't have the time to write a handwritten note. You might not have the resources, but really, can you afford to not have these resources? Can you not, you cannot afford to not do this because of all the the reasons I mentioned before, if you're getting reviews, you're getting more customers, you're building up a reputation online. If anyone leaves you a bad review, you've already got a defense mechanism. If one of your competitors catches on and gets 50 reviews overnight, they are already way ahead of you in the game. There, it, I can't stress this enough. You need to start getting Google reviews. You have to, have to, have to be asking each person, each client in person. You have to be writing them handwritten notes. You have to be calling people because you can't afford not to. It is one of the most important ways to grow a business. So anyone thinking I can't do this, bear with me. We're going to come up with this system because you need it in your business to, for all them reasons for it to grow. Does that make sense? Okay, so we've asked in person or we've left a handwritten note or called or even better, all three. How are we then going to make sure that they go onto Google and leave a review? What I want you to do is have really, really clear instructions on how someone can leave your Google review. I want you to have a link to your Google review and I want you to literally spell it out. Step one, go onto Google, search for Step two, search for fresh as a daisy cleaning services. Step three, click write a review. I want you to be able to put that on the handwritten notes. I want you to be able to say that over the phone. I want you to, when you're in person, be able to explain that to people. Because actually getting someone to leave a Google review is actually quite complicated if you're not that familiar with the the internet. Um, you have to have a Gmail account, for instance, to be able to leave a Google review. So we want to make them instructions as clear as possible so no one can fall off the bandwagon and not leave you a review, okay? So the way you want to do that is go and log in as your husband or wife or friend and actually try and leave a review for yourself and write down the instructions really clearly so you can parrot that to your customers or your cleaners can parrot that to their customers as well and walk them through that process. It sounds like a really small step, but if you put everything else in place, um, the handwritten notes, the training your team to speak to your clients, if you put everything else in place, but you're not giving people clear instructions, you're going to be wasting a lot of time and energy because the instructions might be where people fall and can't leave your review anymore. Okay, these, this is just two examples of people that have given really clear instructions. This is a um, herb shop and they have two people that they're t- they have a YouTube video where they explain how to leave a Google review. Uh, and this is my family's carpet cleaning business. They have a link that you head to and that's a leaflet. So they've created their own link and if you go onto that, it pops up their Google review l- listing. But on the other side, they have the step-by-step instruction of how to leave a review. And that's a leaflet and they leave that with every single customer. Uh, I'm saying leaflet, I mean flyer in America as well, if that's not the same word. Um, So that's a personalized link. And like I said, Overleaf is that fantastic, clear instructions. Now, this is the golden step is you need to follow up. So you've asked in person or in the most personalized way you can, you now need to follow that up with a series of chasers. And what do I mean by chasing that by following that up? So first we've got the moment of delight, which is when we're asking someone. And from our data, if you ask people in person or on the handwritten note, 30% of people will leave you a review at that stage, which is awesome but there's still 70% of people not leaving you a review, even if they said yes. 
crazy, right? So then 70% of people, we want to catch them in every way we can. And what we've seen from our data is if you follow up two days later with an email saying, hey, Mrs. Smith, uh, thank you for offering to leave me a review. Uh, It's really important to local businesses like ours. Here's the link. Would you mind leaving one? We've found that then 20% of people, 23%, will then leave a review. But was, there's still some people leaving. They're still leaving pe- customers on the table that aren't leaving as a review. So what we found is then a week later, we send people a reminder email and 15% of them then go on to leave as a review. So already you can see the importance of chasing people up because we are collecting people that have forgotten at every step of the way. But here's where it gets really interesting. We send a second reminder two weeks later and 31% of people leave us a review at that stage. That is huge, an extra 31%. So if you look, it's the biggest percentage of people leaving us a review is at the, not the moment of delight, not the email two days later, not the email one day later, but the email two weeks later is where the biggest spike of people leaving us a review is. Now, why that's so surprising is if you're anything like me, and this is definitely a problem that females have a lot, is like, oh, I don't want to book someone. I don't want to ask for a what? One, two, three, fourth time for someone to leave me a review. They're obviously busy. They obviously didn't want me to, they didn't want to really write us a review. The data shows that is not true. There's a huge spike on that fourth time. So even if it feels like you're pestering people, the data shows you're not because that is when people are more likely to leave a review. So I want you to do that fourth step. I really, really do. And you can see that on a graph here. Moment of delight, email two days later, email one week later, and then that spike on the fourth time we're asking. Okay, so that fourth time we're asking, which we call the second chaser, why is that so effective? I want to talk to you about that. The reason that our fourth email is so effective is because we really personalize it. So we've got that moment of delight where we're asking in person. Then we've got that second email two days later. That second email is a bit automated. It says, uh, please leave us a review. That third one looks automated again. It says, hi, don't know if you forgot. Would you mind leaving us a review? And something about it just looks quite automated. This fourth email, we write that email as though it's from the CEO of the company. So, hi, Mrs. Smith. It's Daisy here from Fresh as a Daisy Cleaning. Reviews are so important to us. We're trying to grow our business. We want to be the best cleaning business in Minnesota. Um, So would you mind leaving us a review? It really helps us. Thank you for supporting a local business. Love or kindest regards, Daisy. The personalized aspect of that is what we believe the reason we see that huge spike. So what you really need is that, that chaser email to be as personalized as possible. So we got it. Let's all just take that in for a second. We're going to ask at the moment of delight or we're going to get our team to. We're going to get an automated chaser email. We're going to get an automated chaser email a week later. And then we're going to get a automated chaser email as the fourth one. But that is going to come from CEO saying, hey, please, would you leave us a review? It's really important. That formula, as we can see, is going to clean you up with getting so many Google reviews. And if anyone is still thinking, I don't want to chase people one, two, three, four times. Just look at the data behind it. Even if it doesn't feel uh, right, the data proves that it is. And if you're writing, you know, really personalized messages in here, they don't sound like pestering. They sound like a genuine company trying to grow and get out there to as many people as possible. Um, So do consider doing all of them steps because that last one is where the real gold dust is. Now, like I said, if anyone wanted to write down these steps because they are a pen and paper person, I know there's some of you sat there with a beautiful notebook right now thinking, when can I write stuff down? I'm one of them people. So it's right now, girls and boys. (laughs) 
It is now. How do I get hundreds of reviews? Step one is have a goal and write it down and tell everyone. So we wrote down our goal. Step two is go we're going to ask for reviews. We're going to ask in person. If we can't ask in person, we're going to phone call every customer. If we can't phone call every customer, we're going to leave a handwritten note. Even better if you can do all three. And then step three is we're going to chase. And we're not going to just chase once. We're not going to chase twice. We're going to chase three times because the data shows that, that is gold and really does get you them reviews. Now, that is the step, three-step system. I do have a couple of little quick wins of other ways that you can get reviews. I'm going to rattle through them really quickly right now, okay? So some quick wins. Is anyone counting Dolly still? All right. A couple of quick wins is you can add your review link would you mind leaving us a review, to the footer of every single email. So we have it on ours. Have you loved working with digital? Please take two seconds to leave us a review. Reviews are so important to our business. And people can click there and leave a review. Digital is our marketing company, the one that serves just cleaning businesses like you. Um, so there people can leave a review. Why don't you add your review link to your footer? Another thing this really works is review businesses that you work with. So for instance, if you clean a coffee shop every single week, go onto Google and leave that coffee shop a review. I promise you the owner is looking at all of them reviews. If you leave them a review, they are so much more likely to leave you a review. And it's good karma if they don't. So think about all the businesses you work with, go and leave them a review. And also just get into the habit of leaving businesses, leaving reviews for local businesses. Every time you go out for food, leave someone a review and some karma in the world means you are more likely to get reviews from that. Don't know why, but it works. Really important one is reply to every Google review you get. The reason being, this sounds really silly, but people love that you reply. Um, it keeps that personalized element. But in the same way of like, um, if celebrities reply to fans' tweets, they are going to get more fans tweeting them because it's that idea of like, oh, I'm going to get a response from that person. I know your cleaning business might not feel like a celebrity. You might not feel like Beyonce, but it works exactly the same. If you're replying to reviews, people will clock that and think, I'm going to leave a review because you get a really lovely, thoughtful reply from the business owner. So do make sure you reply to every single review. It also helps from an SEO standpoint if you do reply to each one. So another great reason too. Another one, this is really clever actually, is if you're about to start working with someone, send them a link to all of your existing Google reviews. So hi, Mrs. Smith. Thank you for choosing and trusting Fresh as, Fresh as a Daisy as your cleaning service. We're looking forward to working with you. Check out what your neighbors English spelling there of neighbors <laughs> have said about our service here. So Mr. Smith, he's just about to start working with you. He checks out your Google reviews and thinks, hmm, these are a good business. What that does is it sets the tone that other people leave you a review. So then three weeks later, when you've done a fantastic job for him, he's already got in the back of your head, like other people leave this business reviews. So when you ask him to leave a review, he's already kind of You've set the tone. He's already more knows that people leave reviews. He's more likely to leave a review. They're just little quick wins of ways that you can get more Google reviews. Now that comes to the end of my talk. I really hope you found that useful. And what I've tried to do is just make that as simple as possible because it is, it's not rocket science getting reviews, but what it is, is it's something you need to be doing on a consistent basis. So I want you to just take a minute and think, how do I implement this into my business? I don't want you to go away from, you know, over a half an hour talk and not implement this. So sit there for a second after this talk and really think, how do I implement this? How do I make sure me or my whole team are asking that first personalized moment of delight? We're asking them for a Google review. How do I make sure we've got handwritten letters? Do I need to go out and get pens for my whole team? Do I need to get nice paper? Do we handwrite the notes before we go out to that cleaning job? 
Um, if I'm calling that person asking for a review, when am I doing that? Am I putting that in my Google calendar to do every single evening? Or do I do that every Friday when everyone's in a good mood? Um, so really sit and think, how am I going to put all of these steps into my calendar and into my work week to make sure I'm doing these steps? Because if you do them, I've already stressed the importance of getting Google reviews. It's going to get you more customers. Um, I've really, really enjoyed being with you today, but I don't want to leave you just there. I want to give you some freebies because I love you, because you're a cleaning business, just like my mum and dad and anyone that's a cleaning business. I blooming love your hardworking, gritty people that are so fired. You're my people. Um, so I want to give you two freebies. One of these freebies I've never, ever given away for free before. This is an exclusive that I've never given away. It's the first time I'm giving it away on Made Summit and I'm very excited about this. So the first one is I am giving you all of this information that I talked about in a little booklet. So you can go away and read through this and start to implement it. It has examples of cleaning businesses that have done this before. So I'm going to give you the ultimate guide to getting more five-star reviews. That's your first freebie. The second freebie, this is the one I've never given away before. This is something we actually charge for in our cleaning marketing business. And it is an audit. What do I mean by an audit? What we're going to do, if you would like, is I've just talked about Google reviews this whole time, but there is also a lot of other ways to make sure that your Google My Business listing, so that's, um, you know, the listings that appear when we type in things like Cleaning Business Manchester. This is your Google My Business listing. There are, I've just talked about one, but there is a lot of other ways you can make sure that your business is appearing here. So reviews are clearly important. This person has 28 reviews, but it's not the only way to appear at the top of Google. As you can see, this person has 16, this person has two, and they're appearing higher than someone has, that has 28 reviews. So what are the other things that make sure that you appear here, which is so important because it's going to get you more customers? Well, the other things... I mean, there's like over 30. What we're going to do as a freebie just for you is if you give me your Google My Business listing, I am going to audit it. I am going to go through and checkpoint all of the things that you need to make your business rank here. And I'm going to see if you've done them or if you haven't. I'm going to write a checklist and I'm going to send it back to you. I've never given this away as a freebie because this isn't like an automated thing that just lands in your inbox in a minute. This usually takes me about two hours. Um, so I'm going to give it away to you for free, but I'm going to be honest, it might take me a week or so if I get hundreds of responses. But I will, I will sit there and our team are going to audit your cleaning business and tell you what do you need to do to rank higher here. How the heck do you get this amazing freebie that I usually charge over a hundred pounds, which is about $150 for? How do you do it? What I want you to do is visit godigital.com forward slash zenmade. So that's godigital with two O's dot com forward slash zenmade. In fact, we can all do that together now and I'll show you what the screen looks like. So godigital.com forward slash zenmade. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to fill out this form. I want your name and your email address so that I can send you your audit. And you're going to need your Google My Business um, link. How do you get your link? Is you want to type in your own business. Um, I've been using this, I don't know why, as a pretend name for the entire talk. So let's see if there's anyone called this. Okay. Ooh, it's not a very good business. One one-star review. <laughs> okay, but you're going to type in your own business name. And you're going to click onto the Google listing. That is the link I need so that I can go onto your cleaning business and give you a proper audit. So you're going to copy it. And here you're going to put your name. You're going to put your email address. And then I want that link. So paste that there and hit submit. And like I said, I'm going to send you an audit. 
Um, but it might take a week to come because I'm physically doing them by hand. But I'm so happy to be able to give this away as a freebie. This is an exclusive for Zen Made. And thank you. Thank you so much to you all for listening to this talk. I really, really hope you found it useful. Um, if there's anything, anything that you need from me, feel free to send me an email. My email is daisy, D-A-I-S-Y, at godigital.com. I'm always happy to give time to cleaning businesses. I really love you guys. Has anybody been spotting the Dolly Partons all the way through? If you have, I've got two more for you. I'm so embarrassed that I'm doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. If you haven't gathered by now, I'm a huge Dolly Parton fan. And for the last bachelorette party that I went to, I actually went dressed as Dolly Parton. So here's two more Dolly Partons to add to your tally chart. And I hope it just gives you a little smile and makes you have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>